All right, hello, welcome to another painting tutorial. Here we're gonna look at the Orc truck. It's been out for a long time, and I decided to paint this one up. It's been sitting in my uh, cupboard, primed black, and I was like, I need to paint this. So uh, the new Orc book is rumored to come out, and uh, here's how I painted it. So the silver base coat uh, was sprayed on kind of from the top down. Uh, basically, it's, uh, well, I use the Army Painter silver, so kind of like a bolt gun color. Uh, and then what I'm doing here is I'm just painting Abaddon black on all the black bits. So the rubber parts of the wheels and a couple of the panels here there on the, the truck that will uh, eventually be black. Uh, doing some wag flesh on the orc flesh here. And the idea with this sort of painting technique is to base coat all this over, paint the colors over top, give it a whole wash really quickly, and then highlight it fast. So this is a tabletop, high level tabletop qu uh, quality very easy to do and uh, pretty straightforward. So warp lock bronze going on there, just painting that straight on. Um, a couple of the exhaust pipes and all that sort of stuff. And that's just to help break up some of the silver bits here and there. Okay, Averland Sunset. So this is a evil, sorry, a Bad Moons um, truck. So it's going to have some panels that are uh, in yellow. So yellow and black being kind of the, the token colors on this thing. Everything else is going to be kind of silvers and rusty colors. So uh, yeah, just painting the Everland Sunset on there, trying to get a nice even coat. Not too worried about being perfect because it's going to be messing it up with washes. And uh, there we are here, the Reichland Flesh Shade uh, on all the yellow. So the idea with that is it's a bit of a, a warm tone. It's not too dark like uh, Agrax Earth Shade or anything like that. And it just helps uh, tone down some of the yellows and get some nice shading going on there. The weathering that I do at the end will uh, really help to tone down those yellows even more, make them look beat up and that sort of thing, so not too worried about getting that everywhere. Okay, then using a big brush and doing Agrax Earthshade over everything that I can see. So uh, doing all the big panels on the back of the truck, um, the wheels, everything. Uh, trying to avoid, I guess, the uh, the, the yellow bits because they've already been taken care of with the uh, flesh shade, uh, but everything else is getting this wash. Uh, then some Nolan oil for the uh, black bits, just to tone that down just a bit more some of the silvers um, didn't really get that big brush in there, so just making sure that I touch everything up with the uh, null and oil. All right, and just splotching it here, there on some of those big panels, just to make it look a little bit more broken up. Okay, Beal Tan Green for the flesh. Just tone that down a bit. You also notice that I put a rocket launcher on the uh, the passenger side of the truck, um, just to give it a different option than the big shooter. It's a actually that's a metal rocket from uh, from way back in um, Gorkamorka. Okay, so now I'm using a dry brush to put on Necron compound because the uh, all the washes have dried. So I'm just going to go over the silver bits here, there, and everywhere to bring them out a bit, get a bit more texture there, and uh, this will just make everything shine just a touch, just the right amount for an orky vehicle. And obviously trying to avoid any of the uh, the yellow and black bits. Um, Averland Sunset, so going over some of the yellow areas, trying to get things uh, toned up a little bit. I don't want the yellow to be too dark. And uh, not worried about being too even about it, just uh, kind of a sloppy yellow that's semi-translucent, just to help maintain some of the shading there, but also bring up some of the highlights. And now I'm taking Uriel yellow uh, and just going around all the edges. So trying to do some edge coloring. Again, because it's an orky truck, I don't want it to be exact. I uh, just want to give some indications of raised edges and that sort of thing. Okay, doing some War Boss green on the uh, driver and gunner's flesh. And uh, yeah, basically just painting that straight on there. No big deal for the first layer. The next one I'm going to try to blend a bit more. Um, but yeah, there actually is not a lot of colors on those guys. I do a little brown, but I don't really show that on a couple of straps. Some scars neck green for the final highlights. Uh, the main area there is the muscles. Trying to make sure that I get some uh, texture on there with using the brush. Some Skaven Blight Dinge for any black bits. Um, all the panels on the truck here, there, and everywhere. Some brass scorpion highlights on those exhaust panels. 
and we're getting pretty close. So the, the truck's looking pretty bright and new-ish uh, at this point. So I am going to use uh, some weathering powders. The other option you could do is, you know, painting on the scratches. So if you use some sort of a, a brown for, uh, you know, the kind of the scratching of the paint and then a silver on the inside of it. Um, but I was pretty happy with all the, just this weathering. So I'm using uh, a couple of uh, these uh, Flames of War. Um, what are they here? Flames of War MIG powders and uh, just splotching them on. So I use a couple different colors just to get a bit of variation, make it nice and dusty looking, and uh, trying to splotch it all over um, as much as I can without overdoing it. So just focusing on the lower half of the machine, basically. And uh, here we go with some uh, finished pictures. So this painted up quite fast. I added a couple decals to it before I um, uh, did all that weathering. And here's the painting guide. This will be on my blog. Make sure you check that out if you're interested. And uh, check out, there's lots of orc videos. And I'm going to try to do as many more as I can um, as we anticipate the new codex. Hope you enjoyed this. And check out my other stuff. See you next time.